Hey Tubers, welcome back for another adventure. And what you're looking at is a Honda 200S. You can kind of see it on the back sticker there. What year is it? Not sure. My guess is 1985. This thing's been sitting back here in this shed, God, for at least 10 years, if not longer. And what's the story on it? I gotta be 100% honest. I don't remember. I obviously bought it at some point and I put it back here and kind of stack stuff on it and here it sits given that I'm trying to make some space and move some things around and you know kind of get my life going I need this shed to come back to life and that means at some point I got to get it empty enough to fix the roof and the floor and uh Get it a bit organized, perhaps get some of the uh, the mouse droppings out of here too. And in my quest to do that, I got to move this thing out. Right off the top, it appears as if the front tire is completely shot. So it's going to be a real joy to get this over um, to the garage. What I'm hoping to do today is uh, give the engine a good checkup, make sure it's going to start. Um, figure out what it needs it is I'm gonna probably have to put a carburetor on it and all quite honestly just getting it the heck out of here and getting it to the garage <laughs> is gonna be a major part of today's work anyhow stay tuned we'll see how far we get so we managed to drag this thing around and get it into the garage and starting right in the front we could see the tire is square by the way which makes it very hard to move so that's one thing the suspension is shot it's like the springs were crushed um, so <clears throat> it's going to need a front tire change and really to make this thing comfortable to ride it's going to need front forks it is interesting that they are collapsed because the boots are still here to some extent and they don't look bent so it is kind of strange that they've uh, gone square but I guess it happens they could be changed um, let's see yeah, they basically it's just easiest to change the entire fork. By the way, this thing is wearing its stickers, and you can see it's a 1984 Honda ATC 200S. Made it early. Um, this was an early 84. What else could we figure out about it? Working our way back, you can see the headlight is well mounted. The handlebars really don't look too bad. It might have taken one roll over this way. Throttle still moves. Well, gas tank really doesn't look too bad. But another part of the gas tank doesn't look too good. I guess we've worked our way to the engine. The front exhaust pipe is there. The boots here. This side looks pretty good. No damage. The foot peg is not bent. This side of the engine, it's a good thing when that's here. The wiring appears to be intact. The flywheel's here. Doesn't appear to be seized feels like it has compression all good signs plastic I have a crack here got a crack going on here it looks like they cut out to put um, some kind of rack in the back other than that crack on the fenders here the rest of it looks pretty good oh, another crack here no mouse. It's a good sign. Tail light. See the 
plastic's gone. Um, the back axle seems to roll, which is a real good sign. The chain guard's even on here. I'm beginning, I'm looking at this thing, and I'm really thinking it might not have a crazy amount of miles on it. The exhaust system looks intact, one end to the other. Might have been something living in it, but it looks like it's intact. So, it really looks like it has a lot of potential. If I were looking around to add another one of these to the fleet, you know, if, uh, if I was out to buy one, I would probably expect to pay, well, I'd like to get it for obviously less than 100 or less than a 200, but I, I would, I would probably go the major part of of 300 on this. I mean, the motor appears to be all there. The exhaust appears to be all there. The gas tank cosmetically looks pretty good. I think I might be able to patch that up over on that side there. Um, looks like it's got the OEM carburetor, right? The throttle still moves. It's not seized up. Um, but one will have to put some money into this thing. You can either run it on those monster back tires, no suspension, just put a front tire on there. That's like $50 and a bunch of labor to put the new front tire on the rim. The seat's probably another 75 bucks, fixing up the gas tank. So if you pick it up for three, figure you'll, you know, by the time you clean it up, get it moving, you'll have, you know, somewhere between four and 500 in it. If you want to replace the front forks, you'll have, you know, mid 500s, somewhere around 550 in it. And considering cosmetically what it looks like, that's that's a pretty good, pretty good deal. Um, one of the first things I'm gonna want to do with this guy is make it so that it rolls. Um, right now, it's it's like having somebody. Uh, dropping an elephant turd right in the middle of the garage right it's it's very hard to move around literally it rolls about two and a half feet three feet and then it's flat and you got to kind of run around to the front and help it over the flat part then it rolls for another two and a half three feet and it's done i think i mentioned it the back tires do seem to hold there but boy those are those would be a tough ride. If you're running around on those, they'll be uh, they'll be giving you the ride of your life. Um, looks like the back rims are bigger than the front rims. I would expect this thing to have 22, 11, 8s on it. Those back tires look like 25. What is it? 12, 9s. The front looks like the right one though. As a matter of fact. The front might even be OEM. I think this is going to be worthwhile to bring back to life. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a bunch of videos on it. This is like you just brought it home and you're looking at it and you're kind of scratching your head trying to figure out what to do with it. As a matter of fact, probably what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll check the price of a recoil on eBay even though I have one. A seat and about the front tire I mean I know they're about 50 bucks give or take a little bit um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the hoard hopefully I have something I could just smash on there and uh, and call it a day anyhow so we'll be uh, chipping away on this project I want to thank everybody for dropping by the watch and comment I thank everybody who subscribed I mean uh, please subscribe and comment I want y'all to keep your feet down your heads up and get out and enjoy each and every day bye now